Welcome back to 30 Days here on Quad V. My name is Ace Spec. Once again, it is time for day number 12. It is the fifth race. Moon versus Infi here on Echo Isles. That's right. It's uh, about that time we're going to have Infi here as the human. I almost wanted to say Terran there for some reason, but I'm sure the uh, I almost have the Starcraft out of my system. And on the other side, of course, Moon as the Night Elf, which is really what Moon does, really is called the fifth race for a reason. And so uh, we are underway on day number 12. Interestingly enough, earlier on I did do a uh, recording for day 12, only to find out that I, that uh, about 20 minutes in, that I already had cast the game because it was in fact day number six of this very same, uh, of this very same uh, setup, which I uh, thought was rather annoying. However, here on Echo Isles, we do have the game afoot. As uh, we have the Ancient of War coming out for the first creep spawn for Moon. As on the other side, we have uh, Infi building up his, uh, his stuff. And he will most likely go for an Archmage. And Moon, I'm going to throw, throw a bone out there and say Demon Our Hunter. Building no, Warden. Warden being built. And Mountain King. So we have a Mountain King versus a Warden being built now. As, uh, that should be interesting, actually. That, uh, that Mount King be able to stun the Warden quite nicely, while the Warden will be able to use uh, Shadow Strike on the uh, on the Mount King to make sure that he goes uh, goes well, a lot slower. So the Mount King will need to get boots, but that stun will be very, very devastating to the Warden because she's essentially made out of paper. As, uh, however, if she can get fan of blades and a uh, fan of fan of knives and. Uh, well, of course, Blink, then she should be able More to get out of there fairly easily. Of course, Blink is really the staple move for uh, for the Warden, and she can get essentially out of any situation whatsoever. As, uh, we have Infi here, who most likely just pull out a couple of... Is he going, well, he's going for Footman, so I was going to think that he's going to pull out a couple of Militia, but that is not the case. And so, oh, nice timing on that scouting. Moon knows exactly what's going on. He has seen the uh, the, uh, the Mountain King now. So he's stalling on his production slightly, as he does not have enough Moon Wells. That's, uh, Your there we go, as he finally moving. managed to get that Moon Well up, just... Uh, as that go, and he actually has a, a hostile farm being built, uh, being built a little bit far away. As his warden is out, and then he's running a shadow strike, and he did manage to take out, I believe that was a footman. Yes, that was one footman. As uh, that will uh, give that warden, uh, warden a little bit more uh, experience on him. Actually, no, my apologies. It was in fact a, a, a peasant uh, that was militia, so he was on the other side of the map, and that's uh, 25 XP onto. Uh, the uh, towards Warden. Very, very early Tree of Life here by Moon, who's uh, already decided, you know what, I'm going to do something with very high gold reserves, and he needs to watch out that he does, um, that he goes uh, against against human, because they've got fairly uh, very high damage units on the map. So I'm going to guess uh, long term, we're going to be looking at Druids of the Claw versus the human, with the humans going uh, with the classic setup of uh, sorcerers and priests, but Potentially, but that is just my uh, myself just feeling out a little bit on the uh, on the long term. As we're creeping going on here, Mountain King actually has cause of attack plus nine. That's a very good drop right there. With that plus nine modifier, very very nice. This, we'll just add in just a little bit more damage. We've got a Hunter's Hall coming out. So Dryads are already Our potentially building it in the near future, but he's not going for T2 just yet. So we got ourselves uh, Huntresses being. Being set up currently with the possibility of going for dryads in a little bit of the long term. Personally, Druids of the Claw is still open. It is a nice, it is a nice opener right here without the, without Hunter's Hall, but uh, we will have to see what will happen in the long term. He is still got this uh, Tree of Life and in combination with a Moonwell as well as an Ancient of War, essentially building up a second base already, right on the front line. And now is now now it's the question: What is going to happen? We got a uh, Tree of Ages, no Age of Ancient of Wonders. My apologies, being built now, and now it's the question whether or not we're going to see that uh, those Huntresses being built. I don't think we'll see them just yet, but we'll have to see. Meanwhile, Enfi has got himself the Boots of Speed. End us of appearance, very good for his night elf. Obviously, it is nighttime, so any standing still units will be shredded to sh uh, pieces very, very quickly if they get dusted. We will have to see whether or not it will happen. We got cause of attack of plus six now, about to be picked up by the warden as well. She will be able to uh, level up quickly, level three almost as well. She does have uh, fan of blades. 
is that we got a raid going on here. This ancient of war. Oh, yeah, there is the hunters I was talking about early on, already being built, and we got our shadow priest being a uh, shadow priest being recruited as well, just to uh, boost the, uh, the 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 army of, uh, of the moon. More hunters are being built right now. We should they'll be able to move up. Will they go, however, for the? Just too close enough, man. Will they go for the uh, bouncy soldier thing? The warden actually is a little bit low. She did get stunned by the hammer throw. Nicely done. She. Uh, is forced to de-aggro. The Moonwell there does make sure that she can uh, move away. Tree of Life will be uh, rooting itself down and towards the ground here and uh, moving itself forward. Shadow Strike on that Berserker. We'll need to watch out. And that Berserker is most likely going to go down. Unless, unless, like well, no. Uh, Staff of Breeze of Teleportation is here. I mean, it's only, uh, no, never mind, that doesn't work with that. So, uh, well, the, uh, Mountain King does go away. And as the Warden go, oh, it just continues on as well. And he's got an expansion, the first, like, another expansion being built now by Infi. Both sides going for very, very early expansions. Very, very aggressive play here, trying to get more and more gold. He's actually probably going to have this expansion before Moon has. That's, uh, that's interesting. This town hall will be up before this uh, before this tree of life can actually entangle this uh, this base. Let's see whether or not uh, Moon actually has a second hero. Up. No, no, he's just running around with his warden, and he's not sure whether or not to uh, spend that additional point on towards the skills just yet. As his farm is being pounded by the uh, ancient, and he's quickly just buying some stuff, a vial and a moon orb, just making sure that he uh, can make stuff invisible once again. Ooh, the Mountain King could be in trouble. Shadow Strike did come in. He needs to run away. The Warden is in tow. How much mana does he have? 170. So he should be good to do it again. But the Shadow Strike... Uh, he could be going for another level. Another Shadow Strike being popped off on the Mountain King. He needs to watch out. He needs to get something out of there. He does not have... Well, he needs to run away. Just make sure that he can. Because the Sabbath Teleportation has not been recharged just yet. He's almost there. He's almost there. And he will be able to teleport now. Just trying not to waste it just yet. Ooh, but it's so close. Uh, hammer strike on towards that warden. Yeah, there we go. Finally, the staff comes out. Ooh, too close for comfort right there. And manages to get away. Very nicely done. And he goes home. More footmen coming out. No T2 yet on that town hall. A tree of ages is already coming out as the ma as the uh, warden decides to come home. He does. She does have a staff of teleportation of herself as well. So that uh, that'll give her that additional ability to move out. She's just standing around now. Your building is complete. Yeah, finally got that gold mine up. But the uh, humans already have their own own second expansion out, and that, this could be they could be in this for the long haul at this rate because this gold mine is not going to collapse anytime soon. <laughs> There's actually a wisp in the back of the base here of uh, of uh, Infi, <laughs> and she goes down. More scout towers being built up. This is just all just to make sure that nobody can get in. And all that jazz. So that's uh, that's that's good. It's good. Nice placement of all the buildings, etc. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Uh, more creeping going on. Let's see what the uh, where the mountain came right? uh, They're both creeping. He just managed to. He went for invulnerability. No poison, actually. My apologies. Almost thought he went for invulnerability. Though. That's uh, a little bit awkward. But they uh, do have the Shadow Priest. And the Shadow Priest is really there to uh, to heal the units as they go along around the map. And they're very, very capable of that. So that's that's good in that respect. And, uh, ooh, the Shadow Strike. Where's the Huntress? There she is. A Warden, even. She's got Sentry Wars as well. Fan of Blades? Ooh, hammer Throw again. Upgrade complete. As uh, sentries are coming up now as well. Job done. And so the warden has actually decided to creep right on top of uh, Infi's base. Let's see what Infi is going on up to in his base. He's finally going for a keep, and his blacksmith is coming out as well. Potentially, could potentially be looking at riflemen. As uh, we got Ancients of Lore coming out. Bears are still a very good possibility. The so peasant does go down due to set Shadow Strike as the Warden is now level 4. Nearly level 5. Well, that's, uh, that's going quickly. Let's go once again. That is night time. 
everything is invisible. Research complete. But this expansion is uh, going ahead as well. And uh, improved masonry now being researched as well. We got the blacksmith almost up, as well as the keep. So T2 will be rolling out shortly for uh, for Infi here, and he's Job's just done. building more and more guard towers Infy. to make sure that these peasants do not uh, get pinned. Be uh, just do not cannot be raped unless they go with a zeppelin. Can he actually buy a zeppelin? I don't think there's a goblin. No, there's no there's no, there's no goblin on this on this map, so they won't be able to do anything like that. Which would be curious to be honest if they actually did. But the warden does uh, manage to. Uh, Creep, continue to creep up, although he, he's still caress, harassing the uh, the uh, the Mount King. Job's done. Shadow strike Job's and done. slowed. So uh, let's go. Oh, we got to fill the panda. Panda Job's being uh, has has been uh, added towards Moon's repertoire. It's a good move to be honest. Panda is really a great hero with his uh, with his fire breath. It's, it's, it's very good. He's got a self staff of preservation as well. So he'll be able to micro his units out of there. Ooh, this Mount King again. And he does a staff teleportation. He gets out of there. Nicely in time. There we go. He's gone. And he now knows that there is a ma there now knows that there is a panda on the map. As uh, ooh, TP Job comes done. back after there's a little bit Job of attack done. by the Mountain King. And he's going to go home. Takes the old footman with him. Bye bye. And he did have a little bit of a raid going on there in that tree of life, but uh, did not actually manage to do any damage whatsoever. So the brewmaster actually managed to uh, survive for fairly long, and that's uh, and that's good. That's good in his part. That's good for uh, for Moon. Yep, yep. Like I said, gunpowder has been researched now by the blacksmith, and there's a castle being rushed out as well. And we got ourselves a paladin, a paladin uh, being built. And finding that holy light will be great uh, to heal up the units. And uh, devotion aura, and all that. So that will be very, very good. And he's got in improved lumber harvesting, so we we'll continue to get those resources up. But, uh, we'll have to see whether or not he uh, will, in fact, go for the uh, sorcerers' built workshops. Could be looking at flying machines here, or even siege tanks. That would be cool if that is the case. And, uh, he's just trying to build in uh, the base, making sure that the uh, Night Elves cannot get close. Meanwhile, the Brewmaster is still only on level 1. Final Blade once again. Final Blade is really a nice opener, uh, an opening attack, really, to, uh, to uh, there the Brewmaster will go to level 2 now, to, uh, uh, to initiate attacks. Ah, we have flying machines, I think. Did I just hear that correctly? Did I hear a lift off? I think I did. And now it's just a question of figure out where he is. There he is. There's the flying machine. Flying machines are so badass. Seriously. The brothers if only the brothers right knew what kind of awesomeness people at Blizzard would think of only only a hundred years after the invention of the airplane. It's just awesome. Flying machine up. Uh, well, we won't be doing too much at the moment. He does have uh, gunpowder on him, so, uh, yeah. Our forces are under attack. We'll be able to do that additional Job's damage done. with uh, with black with black powder, gunpowder even. As uh, then my scout as well it really really forces him to uh, to do something to counter air, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem with uh, hunters. As uh, this gargantuan goes down, the uh, paladin is still on level two, but uh, divine light is exactly what you want, and he's got himself a panel of energy. So I will be able to uh, heal up, and it's really a good move that he managed to go for that one because the de if if it was a demon hunter on the uh, side of uh, uh, of the of the night elf, then the paladin would really not be an option. However, we got ourselves bears, druids of the claw. Damn, I'm good. And hippogriffs, hippogriffs being uh, trained now as well. And those hippogriffs will be uh, used to take out the flying machines if if they're. Uh, being built, and we're going to improve strength of the wild as well. So hippogriffs and both the bears will be uh, stronger, or have stronger attacks. But more hippogriffs coming out. That could be interesting. We got ourselves a chimera roost. Ooh, a chimera roost being built now as well. Heavy T3 coming out now. Will we see? Yes, refined gunpowder as well as iron plating queued up. Riflemen and flying machines. The flying machines with uh, with improved gunpowder will do so much damage versus those hippogriffs. Absolutely ridiculous stuff. To be uh, to be honest, is uh, let's see what we have. The paladin is at level one still, but that probably won't take for long. As the mountain king is just going around, and see what he can do. Moon, however, on the other side is just going around. There's the panda. Is that that is a ethereal owl? 
That is interesting. Our warriors that is very interesting. Enemy. Why would he go for that? Yeah. Interesting. What's up? More chimeras coming out. Uh, hippogriffs coming out. This is where the claw has actually been ensnared. <laughs> that is just too cute. I like that forest trapper. <laughs> Interesting. And we got ourselves a Griffin Aviary. Two Griffin Aviaries. Storm Hammers. Oh dear. And that in, com oh, and this, and that in combination with flying machines. This workshop could just be a massive troll towards the moon. Hey, I've got a workshop here with flying machines. Build something to counter that, please. In the meanwhile, Griffin's being built in the background. And no, oh, make that dragon hawks. Oh wow. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. We have we have air hawks be oh no, it's been cancelled, I think. Yes it was. That's uh that's, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Is that Roar actually being researched on the druids of the claw as well? He's got master uh, master training as well, to be uh, in all honesty, we'll be able to do some of that. Chimera Roost is now done. Ooh, that's two Chimera Roosts right there. <laughs> that, and as well as a Wand of Illusion. Oh, that will be... Diff uh, I don't know, we don't have any spell breakers on the map Research on the other finish. side, so they won't be able to uh, dispel that, or Druids on that part. But Our more Hippogriffs being built. The oh, there are the Chimeras. Chimeras, Chimeras. That is pretty hardcore. Move me well, 50 uh, food worth of stuff on the map. As uh, his warden is just oh, trying to get these peasants down. Managed to get one down, second one as well. Will he get the third? He will most likely. Is his blink recharged? Our warriors oh, have engaged. Oh, can't get to this. Yeah, there we go. There's the. Oh, he's just absolutely raging through these lines of peasants. What we saw with the demon, uh, with the dreadlord earlier on as well on day 11, where similar stuff went on with that. As uh, the Dreadlord went to destroy a lot of the units that were just coming in and around. And still no Chimeras being built. I was curious. So currently Moon has 3,000 gold. He has so much gold. And that early expansion really meant that he uh, can do this. Another Ancient of Wonders being built. But the Chimeras is currently, currently not doing anything. We got more Dragonhawks being built. Four of them currently, actually. As well as Iron Fort Source. There are the Dragon Hawks. As, uh, you Our actually good for. Uh, yeah, they're engaged. not upgraded though. So, all that investment that, uh, that Infi has done in towards uh, gunpowder has really gone to waste because there's not much he, he did with it, to be honest. The flying machines are a little bit useful, useless at this rate, and there are no. Are under well, attack. There are no gunpowder units on the map. He just has the Dragon Hawks. And these Iron Forge swords for that. So, again, no word amounts to blink out. There's a cannon tower actually being built. That's uh, that's something you don't see every day. A cannon tower. Where did he build that cannon tower? I don't even see it. Where's the cannon tower? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't see the cannon tower. Oh, what? Doesn't really matter because. Oh dear! Cannon tower right on top of the original expansion! Oh, I didn't see those. Oh, that is clever. <laughs> yeah, he's just going to bust open this wall. And, uh, yeah, bye-bye expand, bye-bye original base. That is, uh, <laughs> that is cute. Hippogriffs now being, more hippogriffs being built as well. And dryads being built as well. A lot of footmen coming out. And uh, this, uh, this ward will most likely just, oh, that is a pain. That's four footmen down. Paladin goes for invulnerability, and he's got four, three ivory towers. Oh, and there's like a massive, there's a massive uh, battle going on here. All the dragon hogs are taking on these hippogriffs, trying to do as much damage as they can. And uh, the uh, night elf moon is forced to TP out of there. And look at all those dragon hogs. And in addition to this, oh there, and the scout towers are being built now as well in the base. That can uh, only mean one thing. The tower push is afoot, and the dragon hawks are coming in. The chimeras are trying to take down as much as they can. We have a TP coming in because they have seen the chimeras. But uh, can the uh, can the mountain king get out in time? Yes, he will, just in time. And now they're going to go forward, try to take out these scout towers, but they won't be able to know. But then they'll see these cannon towers right here because this is a trap. It's a trap. There we go. The cannons come around. One, two, three, fire. Is, uh, 
even these uh, well, these cannon towers are not doing too much right now. As, they, as the chimeras are just taking down the scout towers as they go. But look at all these dragon hawks. That is so many dragon More dragon hawks. That is a lot of friggin' dragon hawks. Enfy is really playing it ballsy right now with all of these dragon hawks going around with a mo with a and with all these with these heroes going around as well. His paladin is extremely low. But look at this. Uh, the cannon, the cannon towers can't do anything versus the chimeras. The dragon hawks need to take out the chimeras quickly before they can do anything. There we go. The uh, worst first one has been uh, been taken out. The hippogriffs did try to come in and do a little bit of damage, but that did not happen just in time. It was just, <laughs> those hypocrites are quick. Are we going to see any flying machines? I really hope so. We're seeing any flying machines. No, no flying machines just yet. More towers being built. Here come the ivory towers. Oh, that's quick. Job's done. Oh, yes, and they're all going to be built into guard towers as well. The dragon hawks are there. Here come the hippogriffs. Hippogriffs on standby. Can they do anything? No, not just yet. As here we go. Oh, the warden. Oh, you should have done the stun on the warden. And here come the dragon hawks trying to take down as many of the... Uh, uh, many of the hypocrites that they can, they're doing so much damage. Oh dear, this is not going to end well for Moon. Infi is just going in there and kicking ass. One, two, one hippogriff down. Teleport comes in though, just in time. As uh, he just decides to uh, de aggro because there's too many hippogriffs. And these riots as well, trying to uh, take down the, uh, uh, trying to take down the dragon hawks as well, but it just did not happen. The dragon hawks are here, as they're being uh, regened as we speak. Our town is under sea. And more and more dragon hawks are being built, as the paladin has effectively built himself in. Does he actually have a TP? Oh no, that that's that is valuable time lost right there. That paladin is just sitting in a corner, while he could get experience. Yeah, that's just bad placement the right there. And now he'll be able to get out, but whatever. The dragon hawks are still trying to get these chimeras down. These ones are fairly low. Ooh, that is. Ooh. Yeah, now the hippo. Where are the hippogriffs? They should be coming in. There they are. Hippogriffs are coming in. Trying to take down this chimera. I did take it. Now they need to the aggro. Get the hell out. Get away from the. Not try to get away from the chimeras. Uh, dragon hawks there. As uh, the hippogriffs are everywhere, and the dragon hawks are just on standby, trying to do what they think is right. Those Ragnaroks are still going around. But look at that. That's that's one, two, three. That's like a almost oh, two dozen. The gold mine has finally collapsed. We up to the other side of the map. We go. And that gold mine only has attack. three thousand left. This gold mine only has. 3,000 left. This gold mine is gone as well. Here we go. Scroll speed being enabled on towards the Dragon Hawks. She needs to get away. Roar being put on on towards the Hippogriffs and the Chimeras as well. There's a lot of Chimeras here as all the Dragon Hawks are coming in. They're trying to take down these Hippogriffs as they should. One Hippogriff down. We have this Dragon Rider going down. This Rider going down as well. This uh, Dragon Hawk could not survive very long either. Hippogriff down once again. The Chimeras are focusing on the towers as a Brewmaster is a little bit low. Can he get a Fire Breath in? It doesn't look like to be the case. This Hippogriff is being enabled. Yes, he will. It does look like the Dragon Hawks are will be able to win this. Yes, they will be able to win this. This is a Camera goes down as well. The Dragon Hawks are doing just great. The Hippogriffs are going down everywhere, all over the place. Oh dear. This Camera needs to be focused upon. They need to take him down. This is Berserker is being primed. There we go. Another Camera will be ensnared. He is going to go down. This entire army of Moon has been annihilated by the Dragon Hawks. So much strength here. As uh, we got ourselves an Avatar of Vengeance now coming out as well, but she is uh, surrounded and she will be going down as the Dragon Hawks are everywhere and this original base will go die in a fire. And now the peasants are coming out as well to help out and see what they can do as they're building themselves a uh, building themselves a, some additional buildings. As uh, ooh, we have more uh, hippogriffs coming in, as the Dragon Hawks are a little bit low on power, uh, a little bit low on strength, they need to back off. We got one of the hippogriffs being ensnared by the, the dragon, uh, by the dragon rider, and there's so much micro going on right here. 
as the Brewmaster can do the fire breath, and that would devastate these Dragon Hogs, but can he be able to do it? That is the question. The Mountain King is just going around, kicking ass. As more of these Dragon Riders are just going back and forth. But the Druids with the Claw doing so much damage towards the Heroes of Infy. Moon is playing this fairly well. But these, de <laughs> these, these Cannon Towers in the back are still being an absolute pain in the ass towards his base. As the Ancient of Lore is falling back. Once again, we have these, uh, this Arcane Vault with all the peasants that were trying to build it did die. Because of the... Uh, <laughs> he's actually going through the... He's, the Warden is actually trying to get through the trees. The Warden did go for a fan of blades. Didn't manage to take out the... Uh, the peasants that were around there. But, <laughs> oh god, that is so annoying. As this Hippogriff will almost likely die. As he can put the towers on there. Ooh, he's still going for... Ooh. There's uh, more uh, more dragon octum in another hippogriff being uh, in, uh, being entangled. This one we need to watch out. And this one, yeah, they can't do anything. Another hippogriff, sec third one will go down. There we go. You no, know, almost managed to uh, die on that one, but regardless, very nicely played. Meanwhile, in the base, what's going on? Nothing being built. Infi is uh, still got his dragon hawks down here. So a lot of stuff going on around the map. There's the dragon hawks are still playing. Infi is extremely aggressive. Is uh, Moon did not manage to uh, get his chimeras out. And he did manage to uh, get a lot of, uh, take down a lot of the dragon hawks, but at the cost of all of his chimeras. And that was a big loss right there. So more hippogriffs are being built. Four are being queued up right now. And I don't see any, well, we still have uh, two more dragon hawks coming out. Uh, once again, we're at mid night. Oh, they're so low. They're so low on health. Are we going to see anything along the line of... We have a scroll of... You know, we have a scroll of regen. Yeah, finally being popped. And they need to because these dragon riders are low. Very, very low on health. They need to fall back. What can Moon do in the meanwhile, though? This micro of Infi was absolutely exemplary using all those dragon riders to uh, immobilize the uh, the hippogriffs. And it's taken them down one by one. That was very, very well played. As, uh, <laughs> actually, uh, Ancients of Lore cannot take down the Arcane Vault because of the cannon towers are sitting in the forest. <laughs> That's clever. Our forces are under attack. We have a Blood Mage. Ooh, the Warren is being stunned. And the Blood Mage is trying to take her down. Yeah. yeah. And again, the, the hammer throw. Onto it's a warden. She can't blink or use vengeance. And the Mountain King is in the chase, trying to get another hammer throw out. But the warden is a little bit quicker. Yeah, just out of range. But the panda is there. <laughs> just drops the boots of speed for the brewmaster. Nice micro on those heroes there. <laughs> Very well done, making sure the Mountain King cannot get close. But as soon it's going to be close. It's going to be very, 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 very close. As, uh, again, it's nighttime. As the dragon ox are still going around. What are they going to do? Ooh, dragon ox. No, oh, hammer throw on towards the uh, brewmaster. This could be... Oh, more towers being built. Another ivory tower rush. As uh, the brewmaster is being stunned. And there we go, Hippogriffs are here, as uh, the Dragon Hawks are here as well. well another, another great uh, use of Micro there, as all the Hippogriffs are being uh, ensnared. Very, very well done. And all the Hippogriffs are, in ab are about to die now. Extreme Micro being used as uh, Moon just lost his, uh, his Pandaren Brewmaster towards the heroes of, uh, of Enfi. As these Hippogriffs are doing very, very badly against the Dragon Hawks. More and more of the Dragon Hawks are taking down the Hippogriffs as these towers are all there. And we have the Blood Mage down now as well. But he did, he served his purpose. They took down. They took down what they needed to do, and which was the Pandaren Brewmaster, making sure that, they cannot, that he could not do any damage onto which the Dragon Hawks with his Fire Breath. But still, they did what they had to do. Oh, the Warden is low. The Warden is going to go down. This could be it. This could be a good game right here. Oh, she does have Blink. But uh, that's not going to be enough. Final plates once again. Nicely timed uh, as the Dragon Hawks are a little bit low. And again, the Hippogriffs are down. This is a good game. As the uh, Enfi wins versus Moon. Whereas this, this, it just cannot go on any longer. Enfi just has Moon by the balls. And he's squeezing those balls very, very slowly. 
and taking all. Yeah, there it is. Good game being called by Moon. And uh, what a great use of those dragon dragon hawks right there against the Hippogriffs early on, making sure that they could do the damage. And this with insane micro on towards those uh, on towards the Hippogriffs and making sure that they could not move whatsoever. And then slowly but steadily taking them down. And not even a fan of blades could do it from the warden could do anything against that. Very, very, very well played by both sides. However, Enfi was just that little bit better. Just a little bit better. This has been Ace Pick here for day number twelve for thirty days of well, thirty days of Quad V. Be sure to check out the uh, StarCraft VODs that are coming out after this as well, as uh, I am going to go and edit these videos, as uh, today has been two back-to-back -back games of WarCraft, and uh, tomorrow will be the same until I get back up to schedule with uh, 30 days, which should be somewhere around Saturday, I'm going to guess, uh, when I'm going to be back on schedule. Regardless, this has been Ace Pick here on Quad V. Be sure to leave your comments below, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.